First, you're gonna want to prepare your custom control scene for the tooltip you want to show. In my case, for my game Yagas and Dungeons, I want to show the player the stats of the perks they bought, so I'm just adding a rich text label inside of a margin container. Keep in mind that this scene will be a child of a pop-up panel, so if you want to fairly easily change how that will look, make your own custom theme and add a pop-up panel and create an empty style box for it so that it is invisible. I'll make mine black with a reduced opacity. Once you have your custom scene, make sure to save it somewhere and now go over to the node which will react to the mouse hover. You're gonna want to apply your theme to this node and then add a script to that node and override a virtual method called make custom tooltip. This method takes one mandatory argument that will be of type string. Inside the method you want to instantiate your tooltip scene and configure it by getting the respective nodes. A better approach would be to attach a custom script to that tooltip and utilize encapsulation so that the parent node doesn't need to know the specifics of the implementation and instead it would only propagate the string argument to its child. Lastly, to change how quickly tooltips appear, you need to go into project settings and underneath GUI timers you'll find tooltip delay in seconds. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to subscribe since I plan on doing more, but that is everything from me, so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one, bye bye!